Well, howdy guys, Taylor Osborne here again on our third day of videoing for our lamb classification guidelines and today is final day. Uh, looking forward to going through these with y'all again. I think we got another a really good set of sheep that have some differences and to give you guys some things to, to look at and to think about when you're out there uh, selecting, selecting your, your, your lambs for the upcoming show season. Uh, Jamie Osborne's going to be going over this set with you. And not to sound like a broken record, but uh, once again, these are just our opinions. Uh, these are how we interpret these guidelines. And you could grab 10 people and run them in there, and they can all have a different opinion. And that's just, that's just how it is with these things. And, and we just, we just want to give you guys the tools and the opportunity to, to collect your own opinions and to make your own decisions and give you the, the material necessary to do so. So like, again, we will be putting a link to these guidelines in the comments section. So enjoy and let us know if you have any questions. Okay, today um, we're gonna look at fine wolves and I'm Jamie Osborne, the County Extension Agent, Lano County. And with me is Brad Rader and Taylor Osborne, the agents from Gillespie County. And then we have Emma Osborne here also. Uh, we're going to just talk about kind of what makes them good and what kind of looks at them. First off on our list here, they say there's Rambouillet, Delane, and Debelay <coughs> across to these breeds. I think both of these represent that very well. If you look up on their face, up here when we're getting close, you can see how they've got a soft, silky face to them. Both of them have a good broad shape to them. Up on their nose, it's good and white, good and clean up through there. Then we look on their ears, they have some silky, a good white silkiness on their ears. There's a, there's a brown spot there, but nothing major. Um, their ear size and their ear shape and their ear set is good on both of these lambs. If you look at this one also, you can see he's got a good Rambouillet head to him. It's broad, but he's got a good shape to his horn. Um, both of them have those characteristics about their horn shape. Um, then we get off to the side. You kind of look at them, uh, these have been freshly shorn probably a couple of weeks ago or so, about to a month ago. To a month ago and they've got a good self, soft pelt to them. This one, if you get it real close, got belly wool all over him. That's something that's very um, good um, because they're, whenever you do shear them off, they're going to have a good tight hide to them. Next, we've got a... Uh, their, their hooves are good and white to a yellow color. If you get down real close, you can see that on, both the, on this lamb, he's got good no streaking up on them, so they don't have to worry about that. Um, so they both have good yellow streaks, I mean good yellow white hooves on them. And they both talk about having acceptable black dew claws. If you get close to this one, he's got a couple of black dew claws right here, which even though that's still acceptable. And then you get behind him back here, and he does have he has a black pad here on the back, which that's still acceptable also. Um, they've got good wool to them. You like their color, you like their character. And then we get up talking about spotting and stuff. Um, this lamb has a little bit of brown. Here on his nose, um, still it's in acceptable range in, in my opinion. Then you get over here on this lamb, he's good and clean. You don't see any speckling, any spots on his lip, on his nose. And then you look around his eyes, doesn't have any black eyelashes, which that's discriminatory, but still he doesn't have any. He does have some brown right here at the bottom of his eye, but still I think that's an acceptable deal. Then you look at the other lamb, He's got a little bitty black spot right here by my thumb. If you can see that right here, but I still think that's not enough to be be, uh, be kicking him out with. So I think they're both good lambs in terms of their of their characteristics. Both of them have a really good fine wool breed head to them. This one's a little longer. And this one over here is a little stouter headed, but he's still still has good shape good color and good white fine hair to him speckling around the deuce ball and around the oh, they uh if you're gonna look for speckling on them you gotta look down here around the dew claw to the up through here is where you're gonna find black spots on them um neither one of these lambs ah! have any spots um so that's good and clean but that is something that you want to make sure that you try to find um because that is a um, absolute if we go to kicking them out uh, for 
for breed characteristics. But overall, I think both these lambs have a good um, look to them in terms of their breed quality and breed characteristics and should be fine. Well, as we round out another video, uh, a very nice job done by Jamie and uh, really, really good job of going through and describing the, the differences in those sheep, even though both of those are probably are probably pretty good. There's still lots of differences and, and different things you need to be looking for when you're out there uh, picking them out for the kids. And and always uh, be, don't be afraid to ask those breeders. Those guys know and they're, they're, they're not there to steer you wrong. They want to help you and they want to help your kids succeed. And that's always one of the best ways to go if you're not sure and you're not sure what something under uh, in that guideline, which if you don't understand what that means, it's good to, to ask somebody, whether it be the breeder or your county agent and, and get that information from those people that you know that are reliable. And, and it's just a good tool to use to help make sure that you're making the right decisions and, 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 and decisions that will help your kids put them in the right position to be successful one day. Uh, thanks again for tuning in. Don't forget to like and share so we can reach as many people as we can with, with this information because it's very useful and we want, it, we want it out there for you guys to have it. So we appreciate it again. Thanks again and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.